All right, for the creation of VLAN and understanding what is a trunk port and what is uh, an access port, I'm using two switches and two PCs. So first, let's uh, write down what we're going to learn creating VLAN and um, understanding of trunk and access port. So let's go step by step. First, I'm going to create a VLAN for this PC here connected to the switch 2 and uh, the PC 6 connected to the uh, switch 3. So using the CLI, we can type through the commands. But if you are new to Cisco or understanding like how to create a VLAN, so it's pretty simple method in every router or switch, you can say. So you just have to find out the VLAN database and you just know what is a VLAN number and uh, why we assign a VLAN name. So VLAN name doesn't matter but what matters is a VLAN number. So if I'm assigning a VLAN number 11 here it should be VLAN 11 on the other switch where you want to communicate in between two network devices. So I can give it a name like HR so if you want to see what the command is, you can see from here as well. So we created VLAN 11 uh, in switch 2 and the same VLAN I'm going to create in the VLAN database VLAN 11 and I can give it any name but uh, as I uh, suggest my students to have the same name so you guys can easily identify. All right, so we created these two VLANs. Okay, so now what is the access port and what is a trunk port? Access port means an access port can be in any VLAN, but the trunk port cannot be in any of the VLAN. Why? Because the trunk port is the tunnel. It's a tunnel in between two switches which is used to route the traffic from switch 1 to switch 2 and they carry the information about VLANs. So that means only the ports which are connected to the network devices such as computers, printers or stuff like that can be in the access mode but the port which is connected to another switch should be in the trunk mode. So first let's check what is this port. I'm gonna just hover mouse here and it's gonna say it's saying uh, fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. So I'm gonna go to configuration and uh, I'm gonna go to fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. So it's already in access mode but I have to select a VLAN ID. So it's switch port access that means it's in access mode and VLAN 11. That's the command if you want to learn about the commands as well. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And it's going to start the uh, STP process. You can see this port is now in orange state. Okay, so let's see what port is that 0 slash 1. So I'm going to go to 0 slash 1 and assign um, the VLAN which is 11. And this one is uh, on, on the orange state as well. Okay. So uh, let me show you if I try uh, assigning the IP address and pinging the other computer because there is no trunk port configured already it's not going to ping even if both are in same network. So I'm going to assign this 10, 10, 10, 1 and uh, to the other PC I'm going to assign 10.10.10.2 right? So let's try ping from here ping 10.10.10.1 uh, you can see I cannot ping it but as I select this port let's check what port is this uh, fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 so I'm gonna go to fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 and I'm gonna uh, change in this to trunk so you can see now it's showing VLAN 1 2 all these number so it's gonna it's gonna take everything in that VLAN except if we deselect any of this like don't carry data from this VLAN so uh, this trunk will not carry that data but 
trunk can carry all the VLANs data. So uh, I selected faster than at zero slash two as trunk. So I'm gonna go and check this one. It should be already configured, yeah, because uh, when you configure it on one side, it already configures on the other side and it starts the process of STP and after that, uh, I'll be able to ping from that the same PC. So I'm just gonna go hit up key and enter. So once the STP process is done, it should be ping the other PC. But right now the STP process is going on. I'm gonna pause the video and I will try again. Oops, I think it, it started in the middle. You can see it dropped two packets, but after that, after the STP process was completed, I was able to ping. So I hope you guys understood what exactly is the access port mean, what is the trunk port, and how we create VLAN on the Cisco device. I have created another video how to create VLAN on Mikrotik router. So you guys can go to that video and see, and you can comparison like how easy it is creating VLAN in different uh, network devices. So if you see any other company's network device, you won't be confused because you know uh, how it looks like and how it's gonna work.